Hey for stopping by guys and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today's video is going to be a bit different. With a lot of people enjoying the piston engines I've been working on lately, I decided it'd be a good idea to try and do an actual educational video talking about how real world four stroke gasoline engines work. So I built a mock up engine to kind of talk you through how things run. So real quick, let's go ahead and start this boy up. And you'll see there are a lot of moving parts. So, starting on the outside of the engine, we're going to be looking at a few things. One are these fins here. These are heat fins. A lot of times you'll see them on smaller engines to help with the temperature of the engine. Once you start getting into larger engines, you'll see things like coolant pipes and radiators. But for smaller low power engines like this, which is a single cylinder, you don't really need that oftentimes. Another thing you will see is a flywheel. The job of the flywheel is to keep the momentum of the engine going even when the piston is not producing power. Next we have the belt and pulleys. This is a part of the timing system. Now the timing system is what helps run the engine, ignites the spark plug, runs the camshafts, and does the timing of the engine to make sure it runs properly. A few other things you will see is the exhaust and I don't have it modeled, but there'd be an intake here for air. So let's actually crank, crack the engine open here and look at it real quick. So then, there are four strokes to a four stroke engine. That is intake, compression, ignition, or the power stroke, and then you have the exhaust. So right now we are in the intake, which is bringing air in, that air and fuel mixture is then compressed, ignited by the spark plug to give us the power stroke. And at the bottom of the power stroke, the cylinder comes back up to push the exhaust out the exhaust. Air fuel comes in in the intake. That air and fuel is compressed in compression. Then you have ignition, which creates the power stroke. And then you have the exhaust. So looking in the engine, we do have a few components I do want to talk about. First is the crankshaft. The crankshaft is where the power comes in and out of the engine. It is also what runs the pulleys on the outside for timing. Often on small engines, there will be a counterbalance of sorts, which is what you see here, and sometimes an oil agitator. So in the bottom of the engine, you have a reservoir of oil. This will be agitated by either an agitator for smaller engines, kicking the oil around the casing, lubricating everything. Or with larger engines, you often have an oil pump, which will pump oil to specific points throughout the engine. So a few of the things we have, we have the two valves. These open and close as necessary to let air and fuel in and to close the cylinder when ignition takes place. We then also have the spark plug, this is what actually ignites the fuel. Now in a gasoline engine, the spark plug ignites the fuel. However, in something like a diesel engine, it ignites slightly different. So the spark plug is really only applicable in gasoline. And then we have two camshafts. These are attached to the pulleys and belts that run the timing, and they determine when the two valves are open and closed. These valves will have springs that force them closed, and the camshafts are responsible for opening them. So, this was an attempt at an educational video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing, please subscribe, it helps out a lot. And right now, shares help the channel most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. I want to thank Ad for being a member over on the channel helping make videos like this possible. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it here. For stopping by, thanks for sticking around, and until next time, peace.